What if I told you that there were certain myths or beliefs that you have about the cloud industry that are holding you back from securing that first job offer? Myths like, you need to come from a technical background to break into the cloud industry. Or the myth that all cloud jobs are going away and that there are no jobs for cloud beginners. Welcome to Cloud Career Mentor, where we help aspiring tech professionals like you land dream jobs in the cloud industry. I'm your host, Kelly, and today we're clearing up the five biggest cloud myths that are keeping you from landing your first cloud job. These myths are problematic because they can make you doubt yourself, slow down your progress, or even make you wonder if a cloud career is really possible for you. But here's the truth. None of these myths are real and believing them might be the very thing holding you back. But don't worry, by the end of this video, you'll know the truth about these common cloud myths, what actually matters when starting your cloud career, and how to move forward with confidence. Let's dive in. The first myth I'll talk about is the idea that if you don't have a computer science degree, you'll never get a cloud job. And I get it. For years, IT was a field where having a degree seemed like the only way in. But that's just not the case anymore. The truth? Many successful cloud professionals never got an IT degree at all. I've seen people from all kinds of backgrounds, teachers, marketers, customer service representatives, even baristas land cloud jobs without ever setting foot in a university for computer science. We have an entire playlist on this channel called Cloud Career Conversations, where we have interviewed dozens of people who were able to get jobs in the cloud industry with zero technical experience. Make sure you watch that playlist if you want to be inspired. The reason you don't need to come from a technical background is because most cloud companies today care more about what you can do, not just what's on your diploma. They're looking for skills, certifications and real world experience over degrees. If you can prove you know cloud computing, whether through self-learning, online courses or boot camps, you have a real shot at getting hired. Some of the best cloud engineers out there started from scratch. They didn't wait for a degree. They built projects, got certified, gained hands-on experience, and showed employers they had the skills to do the job. So if not having a degree has been holding you back, it's time to let that go. What really matters is what you learn and how you apply it. No degree, no problem. Your skills will open the door. If you found this point helpful, then let me know by hitting the like button. Also, if you're new here, make sure to subscribe so you don't miss future insights, career tips, and strategies to help you get hired in the cloud. All right, let's keep going. Now, let's move on to the second myth. You've probably heard this one before. You need to be a coding expert to start a cloud career. Let's clear it up right now. You don't need to be a coding expert to break into the cloud industry. I want to add some nuance to this conversation. If you can learn to code in a language like Python, then that will definitely put you at an advantage over other candidates. But the reality is that there are a lot of cloud beginners getting jobs right now who cannot code at all. The reality is that many cloud roles focus more on understanding cloud services, troubleshooting, and architecture than writing code. Take roles like cloud support, solutions architect, or sysops admin. They're all about working with cloud platforms, solving real-world problems, and optimizing infrastructure. You won't be spending hours writing complex code. Plus, AWS, Azure, and GCP offer managed services that do the heavy lifting for you, so you're not building everything from scratch. What you do need is some basic scripting, things like Python or Bash for automation along with infrastructure as code tools like Terraform or CloudFormation. So if your lack of coding skills has been holding you back, stop worrying. Focus on learning cloud fundamentals first how services work, how they connect, and how to use them in real-world scenarios. Once you've got that down, picking up basic scripting will be much easier. If you're wondering how to get started in the cloud industry the right way, we've put together something for you called the three simple steps to your first cloud job. 
In this guide, we break down a proven formula that will help you secure your first cloud job faster and with less frustration. If you're serious about breaking into the cloud industry, you don't want to miss this. Grab your free copy now. Just click the link in the description below. And if you're new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you never miss out on more tips to help you succeed in the cloud industry. Now, let's get back into it. The third myth that keeps so many cloud beginners stuck is the belief that cloud certifications guarantee you a job. This is an easy myth to believe. It's tempting to believe that if you put in the hours, pass the exams and stack up certifications, the job offers will start pouring in. But here's the truth. Certifications alone won't get you hired. The solution is to build high quality projects that cover technologies like AWS, Linux, CICD, Python, and much more that solve real world problems. I've seen people with three, even four certifications struggle to get hired. Why? Because when cloud employers ask them to solve real world cloud problems, they freeze. This is because they've memorized concepts for the exam, but haven't actually built anything. So when they have an interview where the potential employer gives them a technical problem to solve, they don't know how to approach the troubleshooting. And this causes them to fail the interview and not get hired. On the other hand, I've seen people with fewer certs, but solid hands-on experience stand out and get hired faster. So here's what you need to do. Pair your certifications with hands-on practice. Don't just study, but build too. Set up cloud environments, deploy applications, troubleshoot issues, and document your work. If you don't have job experience yet, create your own projects, contribute to open source, or take on internships. When you can prove that you know how to work with cloud technology, that's when employers start paying attention. Cloud certifications can open doors, but they won't land you the job on their own. Employers want to see what you can actually do, so don't just focus on passing exams. Get hands-on experience, build real projects, and prove your skills. That's what makes employers say, we need you on our team. If you're wondering where you can go to find high-quality projects to help you stand out to employers, you should definitely check out our offering at cloudcareermentor.com. Our platform gives you a structured, beginner-friendly path that takes you from cloud beginner to cloud professional. This isn't just another course filled with theory. You'll get hands-on experience with the exact tools and technologies that employers actually look for, like AWS, Linux, Git, Terraform, CICD pipelines, and more. You won't just learn cloud. You'll build real-world projects that prove your skills to recruiters. And the best part? You won't have to do it alone. With step-by-step -step training, a structured learning path, and a supportive community to guide you, you'll have everything you need to stay on track and turn your knowledge into a job offer. If you're serious about launching your cloud career, don't leave it to chance. Visit cloudcareermentor.com today and take the first step toward landing your first cloud job. Now, let's talk about the fourth myth that stops so many beginners from going all in on their cloud career. And that myth is, there are no jobs for cloud beginners. I hear this one a lot. Maybe you've wondered the same thing. What if I spend all this time learning about the cloud and I'm not able to get a job? But here's the reality. Cloud isn't just a trend, it's the future of tech. Right now, over 90% of companies use cloud computing, and that number is still growing. Businesses aren't moving away from the cloud, they're investing more into it. AWS, Azure, and Google Cloud continue to dominate the tech industry, and companies are hiring cloud professionals at record rates. This means cloud careers aren't just in demand today. They'll be in demand for years to come. And let's talk about what that means for you. Cloud jobs offer high salaries, global opportunities, and long-term career growth. The demand is outpacing the supply of skilled cloud professionals, which means companies need people who know what they're doing. So if you've been holding back because you think the cloud industry might fade away, let me be clear. 
cloud is here to stay. The sooner you start building your skills, the further ahead you'll be when more companies come looking for cloud talent. Don't wait until it's too crowded. Get started now and put yourself in the best position to land your first cloud job. Now let's clear up the fifth and final myth that's holding a lot of cloud beginners back. And that myth is that you have to master every cloud provider to succeed. I know how overwhelming it can feel when you're just starting out. You've just learned the basics of AWS. Now you feel you need to learn Azure and GCP. The truth is that most cloud employers only use one main cloud platform. And so they need cloud professionals who have deep expertise in that particular platform. If you spread yourself across all the cloud platforms, you might think that you are making yourself more employable. But the truth is that you are actually doing the opposite because employers will immediately recognize that you don't have the depth of expertise in the platform they need, which means that they will discount you as a candidate and opt for the candidate who has focused on one cloud. If you really want to make yourself employable, here's what you do. After learning one cloud platform, instead of jumping to the next cloud platform, I want you to focus on other technologies like Linux, CICD, Python, and Docker, and begin applying those technologies to the platform you've learned. This will not only deepen your knowledge of these other technologies that employers are looking for, but will also help strengthen your knowledge of the cloud platform you've learned. This is how you become a more employable candidate to cloud employers. So here's the truth. Nothing is actually stopping you from starting your cloud career, except the myths you've been told. You don't need to be a coding genius. You don't need a computer science degree. And while certifications help, they won't get you hired on their own. Real world experience does. Cloud isn't just a trend, it's the future. And you don't have to master every cloud provider to succeed. You just need the right skills, the right projects, and the confidence to take action. Now, I wanna hear from you. What's the biggest myth you believe before today? Drop a comment below. Now that you know about these cloud myths that are holding you back, it's time to put your knowledge to the test. Watch The Great Tech Quiz Episode 1, where you'll tackle real-world cloud questions and see how much you really know. Think you can ace it? Click the video, take the quiz, and drop your score in the comments. I want to see how you do. I'll see you in the next video.